Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be unboxing my first Chanel bag of the year. Now, if you saw my vlog, you may already have a pretty good idea of the bag I chose. And actually, in the comment section of that video, most of you chose my top two choices. So this will probably not be a surprise for you, but nevertheless, it is time to free her from the box. So let's start. Okay, so I went to the boutique with two bags on my mind. The first one was the yellow mini rectangular flap. And the second one was the purple mini rectangular flap. And the first one that I was able to try on was the yellow rectangular mini flap. But even though the color was beautiful, something was off. I wasn't feeling it at all. So I tried all the other yellow bags just to see if it's the color or if it's the bag. And I just wasn't feeling it. So then while I was waiting for my essay to bring me the purple bag, I was wandering around. I started looking at the blues. And with the blues, to me, there was one clear winner, the mini blue reissue. It was stunning. The shade of blue was perfection. I had like this, a little bit of a gray undertone, and it's my favorite type of blue. The kind of like a dove blue, can I call it dove blue? But yeah, it was absolutely stunning. And the antique gold hardware just made the blue pop even more so it was absolutely beautiful i also really love the functionality of the mini ratio because you can also use it as a shoulder bag double strapped so i was already obsessed with this bag and then my sa brought me the mini purple square flap even though it was absolutely beautiful the color was incredible I still preferred the blue mini ratio. Then, for some reason, I started trying on the yellow bags again. And the one yellow bag that I had not tried on was the yellow mini rectangular flap with a top handle. And let me tell you why. I had tried it on before. Can you already see the bag? No, you can't. Um, I had tried it on before and I didn't like it. I see it on other people and I think it looks cute, but it wasn't for me. So I already knew that it's not going to be the bag for me, but just to compare the chain lengths, I put them both on and I fell in love. So the bag that my gut was just screaming at me, telling me, take me home, was the yellow mini rectangular flap with the top handle. I am so surprised that this is the bag that I chose because like I told you, I had tried it on before and I didn't like this style. But for some reason, this color just made the bag for me and it's actually happened to me before because i wasn't completely in love and over the moon with the chanel 19 bag but then i tried it in a particular color and i fell in love with the chanel 19 bag so there are bags that you just need to wait for the right color and this was the case for me because look look how cute she is it's like a little piece of sunshine with a teeny tiny top handle. Unbelievable, it's so pretty. It's a small bag, but it will still fit my phone and it's going to fit all of my bare essentials. So it's not a useless mini bag. It's going to be a functional mini bag. So that's great. However, the one thing that is probably going to bother me is the chain because it's not detachable and since it is a top handle bag it would have been just great if in fact it would be possible to remove the chain but i mean maybe i can make it work maybe i can tuck it somehow 
in the back pocket which i love as well that it comes with a back pocket and my bag i believe it comes yeah so it comes of course with the authenticity metal plate it has a little pocket over here and also one zip compartment i mean she is just gorgeous i haven't removed the stickers yet we can do it together here it comes so now you can see the color of the gold i believe that this is champagne gold i don't think that this is yellow gold i may insert some footage to compare this hardware with the hardware on my other bags okay so now that we are done with the unboxing there is one thing that i really wanted to talk about in this video and it's the main reason why i picked up this bag instead of the mini blue reissue and it's styling yellow especially in this particular pastely butter yellow shade is such a versatile color it goes so well with so many other colors so i feel like versatility wise this bag matches with more colors than any blue bag so i put together a few styling ideas just to show you guys how easy it is to style a yellow bag okay so first i want to show you how great it looks with neutrals and the first neutral that comes to mind is black and i mean look at this black and yellow it's one of the most effortless put together color combinations that you could ever wear and i can already see myself wearing a nice black dress and this little cutie to a nice summer dinner by the beach it's just the perfect pop that makes the bag look even more beautiful and your outfit look much more put together just like with black everything goes well with white as well but with white i feel like you need a matching piece so here i'm thinking about white trousers a white blazer a yellow top in a similar shade and this bag so that's another very easy effortless put together outfit i think that beige is another great neutral and i'm thinking more of a kind of oatmeal type of beige and there are a lot of options with beige outfits you can have an all beige look or you can just have a beige top with white trousers so that would also be another very easy option but if you're not scared of color transfer you can also wear a beige top with denim jeans so that would also look great and speaking of denim denim with a pop of yellow is another incredibly beautiful effortless color combination a yellow bag would also bring life to a brown outfit and brown is currently one of the most popular and trendy colors this would bring so much life to any brown outfit like a brown suit a brown beach dress it would look so much more alive than for example a black bag from the more colorful side pink and pastel yellow is another match made in heaven go for a pastel pink outfit for a more subtle look or you can go for a bright barbie pink for a statement -y kind of look and the third option is mixing different shades of pink of more like a fashion week kind of look a yellow bag also has a lot of potential with orange outfits but i'm not talking about like bright orange 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 shades i'm talking about more like sunsety yellow type of orange and the thing with orange outfits especially orange dresses is that they are very often with some kind of print or florals and those florals and prints are usually in yellow so that immediately gives a match to the yellow bag and speaking of florals yellow flowers on summer dresses are extremely common so that's another very easy way to match a yellow bag 
and immediately look very put together very very summer chic i don't usually wear a lot of color but one of my favorite colors to wear as you have probably already noticed in my other videos is lilac and lilac complements yellow so so well and actually any shade of purple looks incredible with this shade of yellow so if you want to make a bigger statement you can go for a deeper shade of purple and finally we must not forget about green i don't really wear a lot of green but one of the only shades that i wear is sage green and i think that this particular shade with sage green is going to be another heavenly combination okay guys so that's it for my video today i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe